Yes, people. Good morning. Welcome to a day of life in quarantine. Again. Enough messing around. I was gonna say when's yoga time? <laughs> yoga time, we'll do some after I do Anyway, right. Going to make some cafeteria coffee. Because the one coffee I had in the morning was a decaf. First coffee should really be a decaf because you need to let your body naturally wake up. Right, make some caf- cafeteria coffee. I'm gonna record a quick little QA podcast. Then do a bit of mobility, get warmed up, and do a little bit of a active recovery football session. Q&A. Podcast link is in the bio, as always. Process. Just going to do a quick 20-30 minute one talking about, uh, I think there's a few questions on nutrition, about amino acids, about personal training, how to set up a business. I mean, I've only been doing it for like nine months. I'm not really an expert. like, but And probably just a bit about life in general, but I'll run through that. Get that done. We'll do some mobility and get myself outside. Right, podcast done. And she's still in her flipping PJs. Anyway, we're going to do some yoga and then I'm going to go and kick a ball around for a bit. I'm going to scramble like I'm tall. with some fruit, some protein. Right. Yoga time. So 
I'm gonna do a baby head off too, sure, with that then. Okay, play them up. First time in what well, feels like a long time, so we don't even be a week. But let's get moving for a little bit and kick the ball around. This is Dario Sarosian's four and a half hour set, recorded live from the Mint Club. During training, I had my usual Paddy Branson dextrins for a bit of carbs. Um, I was feeling a little bit hungry, a little bit like dizzy. So a little bit of carbs, some Totem Fitness electrolytes, which in fasted, get your electrolytes in, and five grams of creatine in terms so of thirty grams of carb. I will add this to my breakfast macros on my fitness pal. Anyway, post workout, we are going to have some protein. I'm just using up some vegan protein just because I've been having a lot of dairy based protein, whey protein, casein, and Greek yogurt. So we had this and it needs to get used up, and it's actually quite nice. So, Cymex Nutrition Protein. Gonna have 45 grams, which is about 30 grams of protein. They come in a really weird shovel sort of thing. And I've also been having some bulk powders, vitamin C and collagen. Vitamin C, collagen, just 15 grams of collagen and 500 milligrams of vitamin C. Just because I've had tendon surgery, angle surgery, loads of different things, and um, it just help a little bit with recovery. So collagen is what helps, well, what makes up your tendons and ligaments, and these just help recover. I don't know if it's a placebo, but it's been helping. So I'll have, that's going to get really loud. 15 grams of that, and I'll show you what else I have for breakfast upstairs. A bit of a clear out. Oh, yeah. Is there a brownie hiding in there? <laughs> <laughs> for breakfast, we have two eggs, bagel, spinach, 350 grams of pineapple, big whopping banana, 45 grams of protein, and 15 grams of collagen. So, reduce your ketchup. Macros will be on the screen. I think it's like 60 grams of protein, 130 something carbs, and 80 fat, something like that. And supplements. Yeah. Vitamin D3, glucosamine, vitamin B12. But I'm enjoying this. I'm very hungry. We're going to eat because it's like half one, what is it? And mine's been ready for the time. Yeah, okay, right. See you at the next meal, probably. Evidence on over there. Mm. 
Lovely. To wash it down. An apple. Little update on what I'm doing, because I feel like I haven't done anything for like a little bit. So just currently editing the clips for the podcast with Mr. Adam Armstrong. I back then was winning, like, because we had such a good team at that age. Like, that's all I knew was winning, constantly winning. So yeah, that's how I do my little edits on Instagram for the little um little post that I put on. So I'm going to stick that on YouTube, Podbean. And then it goes onto iTunes, well, Apple Podcast and Spotify. But this is for the Instagram post. I'm gonna send this one over. And yeah, I'm gonna eat in about half an hour or so. So I'll show you what I have. Meal two. Got the sauces, because there was hardly any barbecue left. Garlic and herb. Rice. Chicken rice. And you're eating avocado on a rice cake. I'll finish my work. We're watching flipping Love Island USA. Munch this. I'm probably going to be hungry straight after, so I might eat something else, but we've got food later on as well. That's what I'm eating. Look what came. Which one did you get? They're mine, I think. You said you got one. Yeah, you got one. Little both father's order. We got, well, I, I got some. Protein bars, some macro munch, birthday cake flavour. Also got two protein flapjacks, one golden syrup, one chocolate chip, 21 grams of protein, 337 calves, 82 carb, 12 fat. Brandy got some ice to this to try. I do a strawberry one, got the orange. A little order. Nice. For five I'm not doing a taste test, I'm just showing them that I've got food because the people want to see what I eat. It was a request. The people. The people. BP Fitness Crew. <laughs> I salute you. Anyway, I got hungry. So I have 100 grams of Lion Bar cereal, which is a bit of a disappointment. 150 grams, 150 grams, 150 milliliters of skim milk. And that's it. Enough exciting. Cereal is the go-to of go-to of snack. Go-to of go-to snack. You put a stare at me when I film things. It's creeping us out. Well, I'm See you for some actual food. Hi and welcome to the Brendan and Brainy cooking show. What are we making today, Brainy? The camera. I would like to actually make it. Like... What, we're, what we're explaining what we are cooking. Fresh cod. Tender stem broccoli in garlic and balsamic vinegar. Fantastic. And some greens. Lovely. Rice. He's got rice. He's got lime and coriander. Is that the one from yeah, yesterday? Did you not have yeah, it? yeah, no, no, I no, 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 yesterday. You got the other one, the weird one. Yeah. So, what type of cod is it? Is it just fresh cod? It's just fresh cod. I'm not normally a fan of fish, but it does look very nice. And I like fish and chip fish. So we'll, we'll try it. Here we go. Like with, the... with some, we've got some lime and coriander rice. Some. Was it onions, garlic, and broccoli, and butter? You can hear you laughing in the background. You're getting bullied. Mm. Getting bullied up with that right here we go. Matt Rose will be on screen. Oh, I also um, I also munched a banana while I was waiting first. So I'll put that in the end. Oh. You good? Just, oh, it's nice that. Mm. Good job. Wow, is it quite bright? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that is bright. Anyway, movie snack, not movie snack time. 
series snack time watching just started watching young wallander that one <laughs> you couldn't say <laughs> that couldn't say that one <laughs> we're half in it and i will show you the last meal so put it back on final meal of the day 60 grams of ready rex or two sachets 30 grams of casein, 15 grams of peanut butter. Of course, you've got to add a little bit of this, a little bit of biscuits. Right? So, frozen berries. Put it all together, stick it in the right wave. I'll show you the final product. A little bit of a pro tip, make sure you put plenty of water in your oats, especially when you make with it, 15 grams. Peanut butter, and then 15 grams of Biscoff. And from there, put it in the microwave for about a minute, stir it. Maybe 30 seconds to a minute or more, stir it, then put the berries in. You'll see. Boom. Then we are gonna go. Would you date? That is 55 grams. And there we have final meal. So slower absorbing protein. So same with carbs, slowly digesting, bit of fat, and obviously you've got to have a bit of viscose bread on. Here to have our food room off. But before you go to bed, leave your last meal at least 90 minutes before you go to bed. So it has enough time to digest. So it's not going to affect your sleep. You don't want anything massively digesting when you are sleeping. So we're having this. In terms of rest day, I think I'm on 3,800 calories, which is slightly lower than training days. Training days, I'm probably pushing plus 4,000 calories. Obvious reasons, we're not training as much, so we don't need all the extra calories. It's not going to be burning them. But I've done a little bit today. So around 3,800. As long as I eat my protein on rest days, I'm not too fussed about the rest. If we can get higher carbs, ideal to fuel that performance, fuel training, fuel recovery. Obviously, we need the fats for recovery as well, for hormones, for everything else. But that is the final meal. Gonna munch on that. Um, I always end the day with four turmeric tablets, which is around 3,000 milligrams, I think, two and a half thousand, and 2,000 of it, milligrams of vitamin C, just for anti-inflammatory, and help reduce cortisol, which is stress levels. There's a few researches on vitamin C before bed about that. So I thought I'd try it, but it's more for the anti-inflammatory, and also help your immune system. So munching that while it's hot, and as always, Hope you enjoyed this full day of eating, day in the life of quarantine, rest day. I don't know, just a day in the life. Full macros will be on screen somewhere. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Adios. Oh, remember, subscribe. Too many people aren't subscribed, so subscribe up. Adios.